Hello Internet. After download our project structure in the on the Gritter, we will get this structure. We will have some asset folder which contain our CSS and our JavaScript, and you will get our Enables view folder which admin and admin folder and in ad in customer folder. So in this part of the tutorial, we will focus on the registration of the admin. So let's go to the admin folder and create a new file, and for this file will be the registration page. So let's call it registration.php and let's go to the first index.php and take all the content and pass it in the registration and let's go back to here let's select this div let's remove something to make it better let's remove the links tab and let's remove this one too and let's change the, the button value is registration as admin let's duplicate this div we want to get in in our config a config password field and here's the config password field and here for the admin we have some one email one password and one config password so now let's go to the browser and refresh and here when we click on admin account we fall on this blank page because in our project structure we say that on the admin we will call first the index php so let's change this and let's make something by default let's say that by default when we call the index php we redirect the admin to the which is the registration page we will fix with this later so let's let's add this first and now let's add the extension and now we have we fall on this beautiful login so let's let's come back to the registration and link the css and here he is not the asset not this one the url will be something like something css now and here is login css and now when you come back you refresh you get this beautiful login form which appear so the first thing to make is to think of what we are going to do so we we need to have some logic and here for login and admin we need to enter some email and one password and confirm the same password and before save the admin in the database we need to check if the ad if the email are not already taken so for make all of this the first thing to make is to go to the form and give it the method of post because we want to get to send the data with the post method so the email are already a name and check if you have a name give it the name of password the password have a name of password and the confirm password have a name of, of confirm let's add it confirm with capitalized p password and for the submit button we need to give it a name too and for the submit the name will be submit and the first thing to to, to make is to open our php bracket on the top And the first thing to check is to check if we click on the submit button. If and for make this we call the e set to check the event. If e set and we call the method and the name of the button is submit. Remember we give we give the name here. Bottom here after the button. Here we give the name of the button. The name of submit. So is the name that you need to put on. The submit request and when we give a name of a button we need to define some variable to handle our errors so let's say that our error variable will be by default let's say that by default our our form having some error and let's define two different errors one error for the email and it will be empty and one second for the password we call it part error password and this will be empty too and now let's declare our variable let's see that here is our variable and 
give some comment and we have three variable that we will use we, the first one is the email and the email will be the HTML special charts and the file will be the email we give the name email to the input with email so we need you to duplicate this two more time and for the second the name is password and the last one the name is confirm password okay now for continue we want to we need to check if if all fields are not empty we need to check if all fields are not empty if user have filled out field so for me this we need to make the if request different the empty and the first one is email and go outside this parenthesis and add in a, a new condition and this condition is for the password and go out again one more time and give our confirm password now and now let's say that if we are one field are empty the error be, be, become true and the error password no let's see that the error email we call the error email is email required and let's duplicate this and this one is error password and here is not email required is password required and let's go on the top here is not error error is error email okay now that all fields are not empty the first thing to check is to check if the untread email is not exist in database so we need to check if the email that the admin enter are not exist in the database so for make this we need to use the database so let's go to the project structure and create a new folder that we will call configs and inside this config folder let's create a new project that we call database and give it the php extension now open php bracket in the database folder and the first thing to make is to connect to the database and let's create a variable that we call database connection and we'll use pdo for this one and here is my sql let's say that the host is this one you can use local host if you want and the dbna will be cat rental and here the user will be root and the password will be empty so now let's remove the space and now let's come back to the registration here and let's is that one refers to check if the email exists we give the name of this query is will be check email exists and this will be equal to database but first we need to include with the database first so let's require it this is a config file in the database.php and don't forget to add the first and here it will be the database connection And let's say that we want to make a prepare, we want to select email from admins where email will be something that we will give later. And let's execute this this query. Now let's check email ACs. Let's say that we want to execute execute this query and let's say we want to execute in the array of the email. We pass the entered email as parameter to the query request and let's get the query result here and we want to count the result if the result exceed or equal to one it means that one user have already registered with this email so let's make this count 
let's open if to like check email access and call the raw count and let's see that if is tighter or equal to one the error will be true and the error email will be email already taken and let's go here if the email are not taken we need now to check if the password and the coffin password are match so let's open a new condition and this condition now is if password is equal to do the confirm password so we continue the request or not if they are not equal make some else and the error now become true and the error password will be will be password and confirm password are not match now inside here if the password and the confirm password are the same we want to save the admin so now before save the admin we need to check if this one is working now let's go back here and he says that he don't found the config database folder so let's make our import and now the means was in the database name i create call it config and it was config so you need to change the config to come from config to config with some s and it will work you will find of this error it says that don't know database car rental and now you go you need to go to your php and my admin and create a new database so let's i have already created a new database car rental and inside you need to create a new table that you will call admin so let me delete all of this and when we will create a, this new table admin okay now the database exists and let's create a new table then first the table will be admins with some s and now let's execute this one the first query will be the id and we don't need the name we need some email and only the password the email will be a text and the password the email will be a dash and the text will be a, the password will be a text and for the id let's say that it's auto increment and let's go let's say auto increment and save it now and you will get this schema this table with one id one email and one password and now if you come here and you refresh you need to go to your database now and go to configs database and here change the database name here is car rental and not cat let me check it's car rental and now if you refresh this you will get this you will get this form and now let's test let's first click on registration as admin and nothing happened we have some error and now we need to display the error to the screen so let's go back here and inside the form let's take one row for the email and let's duplicate this one and let's open our php bracket here and we want to display all errors that we will get so for check if we have the error we have the dollar error variable so we want to we check first if the error exists with the ESET. so we want if if one error exists, if one error exists, display this error. And now, what what is what are these error? These error are the email and the password. So let's remove the input. And here is not not say that it's not allowed. Let's call it div. Let's give a class of error. We still stylize it later. And now here, let's say 
the first error will be the dollar error email and if you have the same the password error let's duplicate this one and let's see the error password and let's error run this and now if you refresh you will get password require email require and now we display the error what's next the next thing is to ch check if one if the email exists so then we put this condition and now we have in some email in the database so we cannot verify this one so let's continue our request and now save the admin and for save the admin let's create a new query that we call save admin will be we will use database connection and here it will use a prepare request and now it's insert into the table name is admin and give a, a field that it will insert the first one will be the email the second one is the password because the id will be auto increment and the values will be first the first email the value will be some interrogation it means that we will pass you the values later now let's execute this query let's say that save admin execute and let's say that we want to execute on the with the parameter of the email and the password and if we save the password like this if one user can enter a one two three in the database we will get one two three so we need to ask the password and how can we ask the password we can use the isasha one method so you need just to write isasha one and put the variable inside the variable that you want to ask and after this let's say that if the admin the sub admin execute well we need to redirect the admin to the dashboard and the admin dashboard is in the is a index.php file but for now on the index.php file we have nothing we have only one page which relates to the registration so we will deal with it later and if we have some error during this let's say that the error will be true and the dollar error email because you want to use it is error when creating your account and now let's check this and save let me make some format for the code After formatting the code like this one, we need to go, we can go now to the browser and check if our application works. So let's give the admin the email. This will be cat. Let's say that we try cat I was admin gmail.com. And for the password, we need to say 123. And the confirm password, we need to say 1234. And the password and the confirm password are not same, so let's check this condition first. If I click on registration at admin, we need to get password and confirm password are not match. And now let's put the same email and give the same password now. And one, two, three. And when I click on registration admin, we are redirect back here. And if we go to the database, we will check that. We notice that our admin are created with this email and the password that are actually.